Welcome back to another episode of Seduce Me. I can't wait to find out what happens today. Come along and play with me. My heart stopped. She was with Eric. My mind flew in slow motion, playing fake images of Diana trying to seduce Eric in my head to further fan the angry flames inside of me. What was even worse was the fact that Eric could play into Diana's flirtatious game. I instinctively followed Eric's voice and blushed wildly. I was approaching the bathroom. The door was open just a crack, wide enough for me to peek in without being noticed. I peeked inside to see Eric by the bathtub with Diana sitting on the sink, looking to him. <laughs> Such a gentleman. You know how to treat a woman. That I do. However, I'm afraid that my manners will not replace my sickening hatred towards you. Uh, I'm hurt, wounded truly. Is this how you really address a woman? A woman you may be, but you are an enemy as well. Pity. And here I thought I was going to offer you the chance to become something better than just a simple incubus. What was Diana going on about? More than just an incubus? She was insane. I highly doubt you have anything more than what I can have here in the human world. How about becoming the next demon lord? What did she mean? Becoming the next demon lord? The boys weren't in the demon world anymore. They had no claim to the throne anymore. Becoming the next demon lord? You're overstepping yourself, don't you think? How can you know about who the throne goes to? Well, currently, I'm the contracted bride to the heir to the throne. Since the throne is open, it's available to any son of the Demon Lord's line. Is that so? It is. You'll gain the throne, the land, and a bride to continue your lineage with. Doesn't that sound like a perfect life for an incubus like you? I could feel myself grisp gripping my fist tightly in anger. How dare this girl try to convince Eric to return to the demon world? He ran away from it. He didn't have to go back. He shouldn't go back. My mind began to wander. Imagine him saying yes. He would leave and my brothers would follow to bring him back. They'd be trapped because Diana would make sure they could never leave. Eric would be the new demon lord and Diana as his queen. I would lose him forever. Sorry. But that actually doesn't sound appeasing at all. What? I felt surprise run down my body again. Did I hear Eric correctly? He denied her? You dare deny. Do not try to raise a tone to me. I am not as submissive as my training defines. I could see the Enterthal tendrils slowly form around Eric, taunting and threatening to strike at Diana. You do not scare me. I can bring you to your knees and make you beg to return with me. Such a cute bluff. You don't have enough power to do that, do you? Or else you would have already done it. Eric smirked before making the tendrils fade away. Diana gripped the sink beneath her as Eric turned to adjust the shower head nonchalantly. Besides, even if you did enthrall me, you wouldn't fully own me. I belong to her. <laughs> the human girl? You must be joking. A human like her can't possibly provide you what you need. She is a human. You're a demon. I felt the urge to storm in and shut her mouth. It would give away my position, but I was growing extremely tired of Diana. I decided, I decided to be assertive and quickly step into the room, throwing the door in the bathroom wide open. Diana and Eric both looked at me in surprise as I glared daggers into Diana. Get out. Well, well, little human. You're awfully nosy in business that doesn't concern you. 
It does concern me. Does it? I don't think a human would understand the importance of this affair. You're asking him to leave someone he doesn't want to be with. Or you're asking him to leave to be with someone he doesn't want to be with. That's not going to happen. Oh? And what makes you so sure about that? I love him. Diana stared in shock at my explanation. Was it not what she expected? I didn't care what she expected. I wasn't going to lose the man I'd grown to love. You love him? Yeah. I do. Diana's lips twitched, the edge curling into a amused smirk as she stared at me. So what? A human's love isn't enough to understand the situation. A demon can never reciprocate human feeling. To both of our surprise... Eric, however, stepped forward and put an arm around me, pulling me close to his body. I love her. I saw the confidence Diana had shatter in her eyes as she stared at Eric as his words. I could see the struggle in her face to try and find some weakness in Eric. In me. In anything. A demon love a human. Impossible. Impossible? How utterly dim to think that. We are the masters of emotion. We aren't barred away from feeling love. In fact, we can experience it ten times more powerfully than humans. I love her with every single part of my being. However, I don't expect someone like you to understand love. Diana took a step back physically, feeling the sting from Eric's words in her chest. She'd lost, and I could see it in her eyes. Diana's eyes grew dull as she glared at me and Eric. It seemed almost uncharacteristic of her, yet it was something I wasn't surprised to see come from her face. Very well. Fine. Vale. And with that, Diana faded into the ground, into the purple pentagram, crossing her arms and almost looking upset. Eric and I were then left alone with the silence of the room. I finally let out the air that I was unconsciously holding in my chest, relaxing from the ordeal. Eric stopped and held me gently, surprisingly. Are you okay, princess? I nodded in response, unable to speak, so immediately after being surprised. Eric let out a sigh, relaxing into the embrace. I gently placed my hands around him, returning the embrace gently. I could feel his heartbeat. He held me close in his arms, and I felt safe way beyond words. My sweet princess, how you've captured my heart. I looked at him, wondering what he meant by what he said. Eric smiled down at me, moving a strand of hair from my face to look down at me. I'm selfish, ignorant, and undeserving of everything you have done and given to me. The way you accept me and see through my mask astounds me beyond words. And now, you've captured my heart and claimed it as yours to probably the greatest adversary in the Abyssal Plains. You've made a demon fall in love with you. I've fallen in love with you and want to give you everything you deserve. I stared wide-eyed, blushing like a maniac. Was this real? No way! This couldn't be real. Was this Eric confessing to me? Confessing his love for me? Eric gently smiled and caressed my cheek. The warmth of his hand invited me to nuzzle into it, and I closed my eyes. This wasn't a dream. My heart was pounding hard enough to know... And I'm sure Eric heard it. Eric gently leaned in, closing his eyes. He stopped, however, remained just a mere torturous inch away from my lips. He wanted me to show my feelings for him, and he let himself open for me to kiss him or leave him completely empty. The power I had was unbelievable. I loved him, and I wanted to give him exactly what he wanted. 
I gently leaned in, letting my lips finally touch his gingerly. Eric let out almost a pleasurable purr against my lips, before wrapping both of his arms around my waist, pulling me in so close to him. I moved my arms up and around his neck, feeling his kiss deepen between us in a very heated height. My chest was pounding, making me feel and see fireworks in my mind. Eric was everything I ever desired. He was the man I wanted, whether or not he was a demon. It was also supernatural to fall in love with someone so quickly. Maybe it was a sense magic I was thrown into. Maybe it's Cupid playing with my heart. Either way, I found myself melting at the thought of him being with me. I found myself com uh, combing my fingers through Eric's hair, making the man hold me softly tremble at my touch. He gently nibbled at my lower lip and asking me to deepen the kiss between us even further. I easily tensed, teased him before I opened my mouth slightly for him. His tongue gen gently danced in with mine as one of his hands slid up his back and cradled my head. He gently leaned his body back, making me cling to him as the heat of our kiss rose higher and higher. Gently, though, Eric slowed the kiss down and pulled away. Staring down at me, his eyes burned for me, wanting me to melt and buckle in his arms. I could feel myself melt already. He opened his mouth to speak, but a very small blush ran along his cheeks. He was reduced to a shy silence. I stared as he tried to find the words to say in my eyes. I knew exactly what he wanted. He didn't need energy, though. Right? Are you? No, I just... I stared wide-eyed, feeling a blush on my cheeks grow. He didn't say anything more, but I knew what words would have followed if he continued. He wanted me. I was stunned. Was I that appealing to him? Was his passion really that deep for me? Eric gently nuzzled my forehead, losing the blush and finally be able to speak. A small chuckle escaped his lips. If you don't want to... We don't have to. I do have to shower after all, and you need your rest. I can feel my mind going numb and purring at the idea. A moment with the incubus. He was a demon of sex. The purest form of lust and desire. My world would be rocked, and I would enjoy every second of it. At the same time, I was indeed kind of in inexperienced. Diana wasn't wrong when she claimed me to be innocent. Did I want to give that innocence to him? Especially this early? I found myself forgetting the words yes and no. What can I say to him? I knew what I wanted, but not how to say without breaking the moment. I couldn't believe the two words that came out of my mouth. It made the most sense to tell him yes. I needed him. I wanted him. Those two words must have made something in him finally break. Eric simply ran his fingers down his vest and shirt, releasing the buttons and revealing his bare chest to me. I couldn't help but move one of my hands down his chest, running my fingers over the crevices of his muscles. A pleasant purr escaped his throat, making me shiver slightly. Eric let his vest and shirt slide down his arms to the floor before cradling my head in his hands and kissing me so deeply. I felt the heat rise from my body, making me undo the tie underneath my collar and releasing the buttons of my own shirt. I would join him for the shower and then we'd head to bed. Together. I quickly removed my shirt and vest, making Eric stop kissing me and stare slightly in surprise. I was simply in a bra, but I can feel a blush invade my cheeks. My shy side began to fester in my mind. Did I really want to do this? To undress before a demon? No. This was the man I loved. Yet, I felt my innocence drape over me and almost in shame. As if he knew, Eric caressed my cheek, 
smiling at me before kissing each cheek and whispering in my ear. You're beautiful. Those two words broke my limitation. I gave in. I yielded to my desires. Before I knew it, he and I were both stripped of our clothing and in a very nice warm shower together. The heat between our bodies simply added to the warmth, making the shower a very steamy one indeed. He pulled me close knowing that I was still shy and began to kiss my lips over and over. Each kiss was a promise to keep me safe, to keep me comfortable, and to love me. I kept my arms wrapped around Eric, taking each kiss he gave me and giving my own kisses back in return. I didn't know if it was the fact that we were both naked, or maybe I just craved his touch. Maybe I didn't want to let him go. The water ran over our bodies, cleansing our skin as we held on to each other, like it was the end of the world. Even when Eric started to act, to actually wash his body and mine, our bodies constantly touched. The fragrance of the soap engraved itself into my memory as I let him touch me and clean me. He was gentle and sweet, making sure to be attentive to every part of me. However, as he held me, I could slightly feel the shiver on his hands. Was he nervous? Was I his first? He wasn't going to show it. He wanted me to enjoy the moment. But he was afraid of screwing up. His shivering hands showed me his emotions perfectly. Then my mind quickly made a realization. Were we really going to join in the shower? I had imagined my first to be in a bed. I eventually pulled away from him and the last bit of soap was rinsed away from my skin. He looked to me worried, but I smiled. Not here. Eric stared for a brief moment before slightly smirking and nodding. He gathered me back into his arms and kissed me. I felt warm magic gather around our bodies as the slight pattern of the running water vanished. I slightly opened my eyes to see that Eric and I were no longer in the shower, but in the bedroom. We were both dry and the heat and the passion remained. He guided me to the bed as a purple tendril made sure that the door was closed and locked. He laid me down and knelt over me. He smiled and finally embraced me as we both desired. The pleasure between us would both be heavenly as we go through it together. I closed my eyes and gave myself to Eric. My body, my mind, and my soul, it all belonged to him as he held me. His body, his mind, and his soul, it all belonged to me as I gave into his embrace. His kisses and fingers ran over my skin. I would forever engrave them into my memory as our passion rose through incredible heights. Our breaths and moans to each other sounded and echoed like a blissful chant that we never wished to end. We kept moving, loving, and feeling every inch of our bodies until we had enough and I was enveloped in his embrace. Skin to skin, hearts beat matching. We held each other in the glow of the aftermath. I nuzzled my head under Eric's chin as he held me close. I love you so much. And I love you too. Just to hear those words come from Eric's mouth made my heart flutter. To hear me answer made my soul warm and glee. I could feel both of us sink into a peaceful sleep together. It was the best sleep I've had in days, and I was very happy. I had my love and I had my happiness. My life was simply perfect. Wow, today's episode was crazy. Who would have thought that would have happened to us? Make sure you join us tomorrow. We have a lot more fun planned.